And then let's go to Sacsayhuaman uh, in the Sacred Valley near the town of Cusco uh, in Peru, in the high Andes. Incredible megaliths there, which archaeology gives entirely to the Incas, even though the Incas themselves recognized and honored the work of predecessors. Machu Picchu, often called the Lost City of the Incas, is a 15th century Incan citadel nestled in the Andes Mountains of Peru, sitting approximately 2,430 meters above sea level. Perched on a mountain ridge above the Sacred Valley, it lies 80 kilometers northwest of Cusco, the capital of the Inca Empire. Rediscovered by American explorer Hiram Bingham in 1911, Machu Picchu has since become one of the world's most iconic and significant archaeological sites. This article delves into its history, rediscovery, architecture, and the numerous intriguing artifacts and features found there. Machu Picchu was constructed around 1450 during the reign of the Inca Emperor Pachacuti. It was abandoned less than a century later during the Spanish conquest and remained largely unknown to the outside world until the early 20th century. Unlike other Incan sites, it was not discovered and plundered by the Spanish, which left its structures relatively intact. The exact purpose of Machu Picchu remains a subject of debate among historians and archaeologists. It is thought to have been a royal estate, a religious site, or a combination of both, serving as a retreat for Incan nobility and a ceremonial center. Hiram Bingham, a historian and explorer from Yale University, is credited with bringing Machu Picchu to international attention. In July 1911, guided by local farmers, Bingham reached the overgrown ruins and recognized their historical significance. Bingham's subsequent expeditions in 1912 and 1915, sponsored by Yale University and the National Geographic Society, led to extensive excavation and documentation of the site. Bingham's work at Machu Picchu sparked global interest in Incan culture and the study of ancient civilizations in the Andes. Machu Picchu is renowned for its sophisticated dry stone construction, which involves precisely cut stones fitting together without mortar. This technique, known as ashlar masonry, has withstood centuries of weathering and seismic activity, showcasing the Inca's advanced engineering skills. The site covers approximately 80,000 acres and is divided into two main sectors, the agricultural sector and the urban sector. Machu Picchu's agricultural sector is a marvel of ancient engineering, featuring a series of terraces that were ingeniously used for farming. These terraces not only helped prevent soil erosion, but also maximized the arable land area, allowing the cultivation of various crops such as maize, potatoes and quinoa. The design of these terraces shows a deep understanding of the landscape and an ability to transform the rugged mountain terrain into productive farmland. To support these terraces, the Inca developed an intricate system of aqueducts and channels for irrigation. This sophisticated water management system ensured that the crops received adequate water, even in the challenging environment of the Andes. The aqueducts and channels demonstrate the Inca's advanced engineering skills and their ability to harness and control natural resources effectively. This impressive irrigation system played a crucial role in the success of agriculture at Machu Picchu, supporting the community that lived there. The urban sector of Machu Picchu is a marvel of Incan architecture and engineering, showcasing their advanced techniques in stone masonry and construction. This area includes some of the most significant and well-preserved structures that reveal much about Incan society, religion, and astronomical knowledge. One of the most notable artifacts is the Intihuatana stone, often referred to as the hitching post of the sun. This carved granite rock used for astronomical observations and ceremonies is precisely aligned with the sun's position during the winter solstice, marking important calendar events. The Intihuatana is carved from a single block of granite weighing several tons, approximately two meters high and one and a half meters wide. The granite was likely quarried from the same mountain ridge or nearby quarries, and the Incas used a combination of manual labor, wooden rollers, sledges, and lever systems to transport and position such large stones. The Temple of the Sun is another key structure in Machu Picchu. This semicircular temple is built around a natural rock formation, and features windows that align with the sun during solstices, reflecting the Inca's astronomical knowledge and religious practices. The stones used in the Temple of the Sun are finely cut and polished granite blocks, with some weighing up to 20 tons. 
These stones were sourced from quarries in the surrounding region, likely from the Vilcabamba River area. Human labor, ropes and wooden beams as rollers were used to transport these massive blocks over the steep terrain, requiring sophisticated engineering techniques. Located in the sacred plaza, the room of the three windows features three large trapezoidal windows offering panoramic views of the mountains and the valley. Believed to serve a ceremonial purpose, this structure symbolizes the Inca's connection with their environment. The room of the three windows is constructed with large granite blocks, each weighing several tons. The precise alignment and smooth surfaces of these stones highlight the Inca's advanced masonry skills. The stones were quarried from nearby sources and transported using traditional Incan methods, including sledges, rollers and coordinated labor forces. The trapezoidal shape of the windows also suggests advanced knowledge of structural stability. An impressive structure within the sacred plaza is the main temple, characterized by its finely cut stones and precise construction. It was likely a central place for religious ceremonies and significant events. The main temple consists of large, intricately cut granite blocks, some weighing up to 50 tons. These stones are fitted together without mortar, a technique known as ashlar masonry. The granite blocks were quarried locally and transported using a combination of human labor, ropes and wooden rollers. The precise cutting and fitting of these stones demonstrate the Inca's exceptional craftsmanship and engineering knowledge. Below the Temple of the Sun lies the Royal Tomb, a cave-like structure thought to be a mausoleum for Incan nobility. It features elaborate stone carvings and niches for offerings, indicating its importance. The tomb is carved from natural rock and supplemented with additional granite blocks. The stones used in the tomb and the surrounding structures are smaller than those in the main temples, but are still substantial, weighing several hundred kilograms to a few tons. Stones for the royal tomb were likely sourced from the same local quarries. Transport methods included manual labor and the use of simple machines like levers and rollers to move and position the stones within the tomb's complex. The stones used in Machu Picchu's construction were primarily quarried from the same mountain ridge or nearby sources. The exact techniques employed by the Incas to quarry, transport and position, these massive stones involve a combination of human ingenuity and physical labor. Stones were extracted using simple tools made of harder stones, bronze and wood. The Incas would create fractures in the rock by heating it with fire and then cooling it rapidly with water causing it to crack and making it easier to split. Moving these large stones involved a coordinated effort of laborers using ropes, wooden rollers, sledges and inclined planes. The steep and rugged terrain of Machu Picchu required innovative methods to maneuver the stones, including the use of gravity and leverage. Once at the site, stones were precisely cut and fitted together using ashlar masonry techniques, involving polishing and shaping the stones to fit perfectly without the use of mortar, ensuring structural stability and resistance to earthquakes. Machu Picchu continues to be a focal point of archaeological study and preservation efforts. Its designation as a UNESCO World Heritage Site has helped protect it from the impacts of tourism and environmental degradation. Ongoing research and conservation work aim to preserve its historical integrity and ensure that future generations can appreciate this marvel of Incan engineering and culture. Bingham's excavations and subsequent archaeological work at Machu Picchu have uncovered a wealth of artifacts and structures that provide fascinating insights into Incan society, religion, and daily life. One of the most significant discoveries has been the skeletal remains found at the site. These remains have been analyzed to understand the health, diet, and demographics of Machu Picchu's inhabitants. Interestingly, many of the remains belong to women, suggesting that the site may have housed a significant number of female attendants or priestesses. Various ceramic vessels and pottery shards have also been found throughout Machu Picchu. These artifacts often feature intricate designs and motifs, reflecting the Inca's artistic skills and cultural practices. The ceramics not only served practical purposes, but also held ceremonial significance, indicating the high level of craftsmanship among Incan artisans. Metalwork is another area where the Inca excelled, and tools, ornaments and ceremonial items made from bronze, copper and silver have been discovered at Machu Picchu. These items highlight the Inca's metallurgical expertise and their ability to create both functional tools and decorative objects.
The metalwork found at the site underscores the Inca's technological advancements and their appreciation for fine craftsmanship. Textiles were highly valued in Incan society, and fragments of finely woven textiles have been uncovered at Machu Picchu. These textiles showcase the advanced techniques and vibrant dyes used by the Inca. The intricate designs and high quality of the textiles often served as indicators of status and wealth, illustrating the social importance of textile production in Incan culture. One of the most intriguing discoveries at Machu Picchu is the quipu, the Incan system of record-keeping using knotted strings. A few examples of quipu have been found at the site, providing valuable information about the administrative and economic activities of the Inca. The quipu system was a sophisticated method of data storage and communication, reflecting the complex organizational structure of the Incan Empire. These discoveries at Machu Picchu have significantly contributed to our understanding of the Inca civilization, revealing a society with advanced knowledge in various fields, from engineering and architecture to art and administration. The artifacts and remains found at the site continue to shed light on the daily lives and spiritual practices of the Incan people, making Machu Picchu an invaluable window into their world.